Developing tonight, WHIO learns some troops at Wright Pat are on standby for a potential mission to Afghanistan. You see right there, New Center 7, Sean Cuddy, he is live outside the base with a reaction here in the Miami Valley about the developments across the world. Sean. James, tonight the 445th airlift wing here at Wright Pat uh, again is on standby. It's made missions to Afghanistan for years, and tonight they're waiting to hear whether they will uh, be sent to that country again in the midst of what is a chaotic situation there. Horrifying scenes like this one in Afghanistan as people on the ground at the Kabul airport clinged to a U.S. military plane taxiing for takeoff. One of so many chaotic scenes over the last week and a half as the Taliban has moved across Afghanistan and reclaimed control of the country. The Taliban quickly overpowered Afghanistan's military. President Biden at the White House Monday. Afghanistan political leaders gave up and fled the country. The Afghan military collapsed sometime without trying to fight. The president defended the U.S. withdrawal, arguing he would not hand this conflict over to a fifth president. Our mission in Afghanistan was never supposed to have been nation building. But reaction was swift from lawmakers Monday. Ohio Senator Rob Portman called this a poorly planned and disastrous withdrawal. And Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell. What we have seen is an unmitigated disaster. I spoke about the Taliban takeover Monday night with Cedarville University international relations expert Glenn Dewar. It's deeply sad. Uh, uh, but the other thing is that it was quite predictable uh, in a sense. He says with the Taliban's resurgence, concerns about human rights are already playing out. Uh, women's rights have, have dramatically eroded. Meanwhile, the scenes of the last few days hitting home for families of those who served in Afghanistan. New Center 7's Gabrielle and Wright talked Monday with the Fairborn family of Army Specialist Jesse Snow, who joined the armed forces after 9-11 and died in Afghanistan. His family feels his mission, his sacrifice, was not in vain. Yeah, he always felt that while he was over there, he was doing the right thing. And back here live at Wright Pat today, a base, base spokesperson told us it's not entirely clear what the 445th airlift wing would be doing if they did, in fact, get sent to Afghanistan. But, uh, James, they've made regular missions for years transporting troops back and forth. You know, Sean, a lot of concerns tonight over terrorism and the threat now and this new talk and these concerns about what might happen next. You talked about those concerns with Glenn Dewar there at Cedarville University. Yeah, he's an expert, James, in international studies. I'm going to show you that part of our conversation here. One of the concerns that we've heard from lawmakers critical of the, of the U.S. withdrawal here has been the concern that this could lead to a resurgence in uh, the terrorism threat within Afghanistan. Do you see that as a legitimate concern at this point? It's certainly possible, but it depends on the direction in which the Taliban want to go. Uh, Al-Qaeda is not a defeated force. It has... Uh, tentacles throughout the world, but it has never really gone away from the uh, Afghan-Pakistan uh, region. Uh, and so it, it, it depends. Where do the Taliban want to go? And James, you know, he talked about some of those concerns involving women's rights and what is really an oppressive regime there. He said some of that already playing out in parts of the country where the Taliban has has, has gained control. It's been very difficult over the last several days to see the video. And again, we showed uh, images just a few moments ago of that, of that uh, plane from the 446 based out of Washington State taking off. And there were images earlier today of what investigators believe to be people falling off of that plane as it had taken off and was airborne. So again, very difficult images for the country and the world to see here in 2021. Sean Cudahy, live for us tonight, outside Wright Pat.